We've looked at how automated rules can help you save time and take care of systematic and repeatable tasks, but you'll also find that those rules can take you only so far. When you've reached the limits of what rules can do, you're probably ready to graduate to AdWords scripts. In short, scripts provide a way to programmatically access and change AdWords data through JavaScript. Note that these are very different than the AdWords API, which is extremely powerful, but also fairly difficult to get access to these days. Scripts are available to everyone, and they have quite a few benefits. First, they can be run against just about whatever schedule you can come up with, right down to an hourly granularity. If you want to schedule one of these to run every third day of the month at 1 a.m., you can do that here. Or, if you want to use a script to check your actual inventory every hour, pausing ads for products that you don't have in stock, you can do that too. And that leads us to our second big advantage of scripts. They can read from external data sources. We just mentioned pulling in inventory data to automate actions, but you can access any kind of data that you want through a URL fetch service, XML, or even data stored in Google Drive. With the flexibility of JavaScript and external data, you can not only programmatically make decisions, you can programmatically act on those decisions. AdWords scripts let you read, write, and change keywords, bids, ads, ad groups, campaigns, targeting, and even bid modifiers. And if you're not ready to actually take action, you can use AdWords scripts to send you emails with everything from notifications and alerts to recommendations that you can forward on to individuals that are working on the accounts. Last, scripts can also be created and run at the MCC level, meaning you can use them to manage multiple linked accounts. Putting all this together is pretty powerful, and you can solve a wide range of problems. Generally, the things you'll do with scripts fall into a few categories. First, you can create tools to automate tasks, things like sifting through search terms reports to add new keywords, or adding the same negative keywords from campaign to campaign or account to account. Second, you can use scripts to drive highly customized reporting. For example, you could use a script to bring very specific data into a Google spreadsheet that's already set up with very specific formats, graphs, and visualizations based on that data set. Every time your script updates the data, you've got your custom report or dashboard refreshed and ready to go. Third, you can use scripts to alert you to problems that require your immediate attention. Things like when ads stop running or when your cost per acquisition gets too high. Or you could write a script to send you an email when a particular ad group's conversion rate drops for three days in a row. You can even write anomaly detection scripts that can alert you to abnormal behavior so you can go check things out. Last, AdWords scripts can be used to react to triggers. We've already seen things like pausing ads based on your inventory feed, but you could get really creative here. If you're a travel agency selling trips to Hawaii, you might monitor weather feeds and up your bids in all the states where it's snowing and freezing cold. Those are people that probably want a trip to the tropics. Okay, by now you probably agree that AdWords scripts have the potential to really help you out. So let's walk through how we do it. First, you'll find scripts in the bulk operations area of the left-hand menu. Here, you'll see a list of all the scripts you've got, and you can see we make good use of these at Cardinal Path. This is where you can edit existing scripts, run them on demand, or update the scheduling options for individual scripts. To create a new script, just click the red plus script button, and you'll have a blank canvas where you can start your coding. And if your JavaScript is a little rusty, or you want to get some sample code snippets to get started, you can use the Show Examples button that will help you out with samples of common tasks that you can start from. And of course, for a more complete code reference, you can always click the link to the full documentation. Note that before you can preview or run a script, you'll have to authorize the script to access the account. This is a security measure, since it's possible that these scripts will be running when you're not logged in. In those cases, AdWords needs to know that it's okay for it to do whatever the scripts are doing on your behalf. And previewing is important. Since these scripts have the power to actually make changes to your account, you'll want to make sure they're working as intended before you let them loose. A recommendation here is to start learning by creating some reporting-related or read-only scripts. This will ensure that you're not making unintentional bulk changes to your account. And when you get comfortable, you can move on by writing scripts that actually make things happen in your account. But before you do, a good best practice is to make a backup of your account. And that's something we'll talk about in the next chapter. Finally, we're going to look at a sample of an AdWords script that you can download from the link below.
copy and paste it into your account, and start running. As you already know, quality score is one of the most important things to focus on when managing and optimizing accounts. But it's also something that you can't get historical data on. What this script is doing is regularly grabbing quality score and click-through rate data, continually appending it to a Google spreadsheet over time. Over in that sheet, you can see that we've created a simple graph that can show us how our quality score is trending over time and how it might be impacting our click-through rate. To use this script, just paste it into the window of a new script, create a blank Google spreadsheet, and replace the spreadsheet URL variable with your own spreadsheet's URL. Then, you can start keeping a historical record of your quality score, and you can modify and update this script to do whatever else you want it to do. A good next exercise might be for you to take this script and add a third column of data to see how your average position is being impacted over time. AdWords scripts are extremely powerful, and when used properly, they can help you reach new levels of performance in your accounts while simplifying the manual management process. If you're already using scripts, then hopefully you've gotten a few ideas from this video. And if not, hopefully you're already working on writing your first script.